Hi there, my name is Rosalind Polka, and I am a senior here at WMU. I am from Fowlerville, Michigan, which is a little town about right there. And I came to Western because I really wanted a medium to large university feel and not necessarily a private art school because I wanted to be able to go to a hockey game, but then also really focus in on my fine arts education. I have a lot of uh, fingers in a lot of different pots here on campus. I am involved in United Campus Ministries Racial Equity Book Club, as well as uh, Lead Corp through the Office of Student Engagement. I was an intern there, an intern at the Kalamazoo Book Art Center, um, and that was a very good time. Knowing that I have other people's support, uh, monetarily and otherwise, that this support lets me know that I'm on the right track that I'm doing things that are worth sharing with the world and that people want to see more of. I grew up on a fruit farm, so I really know how to work for my money, but I truly wouldn't be able to do this without the support from my family and the scholarships that I've been able to receive. Because of the funding I've been able to receive, I have been able to not work two or three jobs or rely largely on my family for tuition and art supply money. I've been able to work in the gallery and have all of these experiences that really enhance my education and benefit me personally, professionally, and academically. Because of some financial help from the Lee Honors College as well as the Gwen Frostick School of Art, I was able to go on the Book Arts in Italy trip my summer of my freshman year. So imagine being a freshman in college and then all of a sudden just going to Italy and having your mind expanded uh, as well as your artistic education. So during that trip I really had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of personal and academic growth as well as artistic growth and we really had a lot of fun in that trip as well. Then through the Robert and Eleanor DeVries Immersion Fund, I was able to go to the College Art Association Conference in Chicago last year with a peer of mine, and we had a fantastic time because we both want to be art educators. So it was a fantastic experience to be able to go there and experience this level of professionalism and level of academia that we otherwise wouldn't be exposed to. And what I really think is important is creating your community, creating your network really going out and exploring the world and impacting other people and let other people impact you because at the end of the day it's about who you know and who you really let enter into your life and be part of your community and i really consider all of the donors for the scholarships part of my community because you all have really helped me succeed and grow in ways that i couldn't have otherwise so thank you so much